Now for more on this is Andy Green, who is a committee member of Disabled People Against Cuts. Andy, evening. We've got record employment. We've seen the introduction of the national living wage. Living standards have reached their highest ever level. The economy is growing. Of course, the government's going to reject this report, isn't it? Well, it can, it can choose to reject it or accept it, but the fact remains that the report is there and the UN have said what they've said. They've also gone so far as to say on the... Uh, on the convention of the rights of uh, people with disabilities that the UK government um, is implementing systematic um, violations of disabled people's human rights. So, so how, how would you explain then how your human rights are being infringed at the moment? Well, the fact is that when this government came into power in 2010, disabled people were disadvantaged economically, socially, culturally, in every measure that you could look at. Since then, they've done nothing but collapse services and take away income from some of the poorest people in society. And the idea that this isn't going to further marginalise and isolate those people is absolutely ridiculous. When the whole of civil society, including Tory MPs, the families of those who have died, including uh, research groups, including the voluntary sector, advice agencies right across the country, all admit these policies are harmful and people are dying as a result. And we were told when Chancellor Hammond uh, took up his position that he'll be pursuing less austerity measures than George Osborne. So is this report relevant now? And do you see things perhaps getting worse or actually better if there is a change in economic policy? So what we're saying is that, look, and the evidence is quite clear, when if you take, for example, um, something like the work capability assessment, which costs more than it saves to implement. This isn't about austerity or economics. This is ideological. And what we're actually seeing here is systematic abuses and attacks on disabled people in every area of their lives, whether it's their income, whether it's housing, whether it's services, whether it's jobs. Disabled people are being attacked left, right and centre by this government relentlessly. This obviously is very good to hear from your point of view what the UN has to say, but the government doesn't seem to want to listen. But in effect, should the government have to listen to the UN, which is in effect meddling in UK economic domestic policy? Government um, and previous governments have ratified these treaties. Also, the fact remains that, um, you know, this government has 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 uh, has pretty much denied um, every report that has come out from the UN, whether it's women and young girls. Um, a few years ago, where they wouldn't actually even allow them into Yarl's Wood to uh, to interview women in detention there. So what we're seeing is that um, even with the housing rapporteur that came a few years ago, their attitude to the UN is an absolute disgrace. And the evidence, the body of evidence that has been submitted to the UN is incredible. And the jury's out. We used to say that they were carrying out these policies in the dark, behind our backs. Now they're not just carrying them out in front of our noses, they're rubbing our noses in it by denying all the evidence and sticking their head in the sand. Right, you say the jury's out. And what decisions should it make in terms of how should the government actually be changing its policies when, of course, austerity is being seen as a necessary evil because, of course, if it didn't pursue that economic course, then things could be far worse for everybody further down the line? Well, the truth is that uh, very few people have profited out of austerity. And regardless of government policy, those same people will continue to profit. So what we're saying is disabled people should be given the resources, the... Uh, teeth in legislation and the ability to go and enforce that legislation and to be at the heart of any decision making and any design and delivery models that come out of these recommendations. Andy, good to talk to you tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Andy Green.